Few rotational actuators currently exist with the ability to transmit motion at different speeds, torques, and directions at the nanometer scale. Nanohelices have great possibilities for use as such a nanoscale motion converter. The fabrication is based on the rolling of strained thin films. Coils with thicknesses of 20 nanometers and diameters on the order of 1 micron can be formed with pitches in the range of 10 to 50 degrees. Based on pattern designs, nanostructures have been fabricated such as tubes, coils, rings, and spirals. It has long been known that swimming at the micro scale requires techniques that are significantly different from those used by macro scale swimmers such as fish or humans. Nanohelices have the capability to convert rotating magnetic fields to translational motion in a low Reynolds number regime, providing the first step toward artificial bacteria flagella for untethered swimming micro robots. The helical swimming robot consists of two parts, a helical body and a soft magnetic metal head. By adjusting the rotating speed and direction of the magnetic field, velocity and direction of motion can be controlled. The helical swimmer has demonstrated a velocity of approximately 18 microns per second at 30 revolutions per second. By inversing the rotating magnetic field, the swimmer turns in the opposite direction and the linear motion is reversed. Fundamental to the task of generating three-dimensional information from a sample in an electron microscope is the ability to view it from a variety of different angles. Due to factors such as calibration, drift, and backlash, the system does not perform a true eucentric rotation and additional steps must be taken for data acquisition. To avoid these problems, a dual chirality nanohelix can be used to generate localized rotations. For converting linear to rotary motion, the nanohelix must reverse coiling directions along its body. By extending the nanohelix, a rotation is induced at the point where coiling direction changes. In this experiment, an individual pollen grain is attached to a nanohelix and rotated. Using techniques such as structure for motion, the rotation can be tracked and three-dimensional data can be gathered from the sample. The use of localized goniometers allows for a simpler sampling paradigm, an increased specimen rotation range, and reduces the requirements for the automated translation stage and data acquisition. Helical structures have demonstrated their ability to perform linear to rotary and rotary to linear motion conversion at the nanoscale. These new capabilities enable fascinating opportunities in untethered mobile microrobotics, three-dimensional imaging, and many others still to come.